Welcome to bonus one of my back master class. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to strengthen your deep core and how to utilize the foam roller to open up your chest and engage your upper back muscles. So in this video, I want to make sure you follow through my first six part video series first before doing this program. So you learn more about how to engage your deep core muscles, improve your mobility, flexibility, and improve your overall posture. So in this video, if you don't have a foam roller, as I said earlier, in my other videos, you can use a roll towel for absolute beginner if you have a lot of back pain. If you have one-sided weakness like a quadratus lumborum pain, this foam roller is a good way to relearn proper postural awareness, especially your thoracic spine, because most patients of my quadratus lumborum pain, they have very tight rib cage. So no matter how much you stretch your quadratus lumborum, which happens a lot with one-sided weakness, then that's why we have the elastic band to engage your gluteal muscles and your hip flexors. So let's begin the program by placing the elastic band around your thighs and we are going to lie on your back. Just place the foam roller on your side, roll down on your back with your knees bent. And as I said in my other videos, we wanna start incorporating proper breathing first. So with proper breathing, you wanna inhale through your nose without lifting your shoulders towards your ear. Because when you do that, you're, you're a thoracic breather, which means you're using your chest muscles to breathe. You wanna lower your diaphragm down. And as you do that, your rib cage opens sideways, laterally. And then when you do that, your abdominal muscle starts rising as you inhale. You can place your hands on your abdomen to feel your core engagement. And you can place one hand at the small of your back to keep that neutral spine position. So you don't want to overarch or you don't want to press your hand too close to your back. So your back should be a little bit spaced a natural curvature so if you're over extended you have anterior pelvic tilt and if you're too much pressing on your hand at the small of your back you have flat back or posterior pelvic tilt so we want to learn that behavior a little bit space as you breathe in breathe out zip it up last deep breath in inhale and exhale so most of my patients have that tilt, one pelvis lower and one pelvis higher. So the lower pelvis usually is the weaker hip flexor. So how do you know which side is your lower hip? So let's assess our body by doing a gentle bridge and squeeze your glutes and then exhale down and then place your both thumbs in front of your pelvis so you can feel that on your abdomen and there's a bony prominence on the side and then gently from both sides you go towards your navel and when you reconnect you might find one thumb higher or lower so my left side is usually my weaker side and sometimes i got out of alignment because of my right hand dominance so if i place them together usually i have like a half an inch difference and when you do that Let's reconnect first before we proceed. So how do we do that? By bending your left knee to 90 degrees. So with the elastic band gives you a challenge and just, just hold this position. And then you can give an extra challenge by placing your both hands on the top of your thigh on your near your near knee area and then press and contract as you breathe in, breathe out. And you're going to feel that deep sensation all the way to your hip flexors, working hard, maintaining that position. So inhale, exhale, press. So I'm pressing against my knee without letting it move, keeping that 90 degree position. Last deep breath in. And exhale, press. As you breathe out, you feel that zipping it up, which means you're pulling your navel to your spine, but from your lower abs, going up to your navel. You don't want to press from your upper abs down to your navel. And then press and breathe out. And let's do three more repetitions on your left side. So this is my weaker side. Bend your knee to tabletop again to rest a little bit. It's nice to rest it down if you have a lot of pain. 
And my recommendation is place heating pads on the area where you have pain so your muscles are a little bit looser and has more mobility that you can stretch. At the same time, heat helps increase blood circulation for oxygenation with our breath work. So you're going to place your hands on top of your knee as you breathe in. Breathe out, press. On the second repetition, you might feel a little bit more fatigued now. And this is our mind-body connection to our hips. Last set, inhale, breathe in and breathe out, press. Last inhale again and breathe out. And my recommendation is do this at least 10 repetitions in one side. So this is my dominant side, my right side. This is my good side. And instead of pressing on top of my thighs and my knee, I'm going to interlock my fingers placing it behind my thighs and keeping the knee bent to 90 degrees. And this time, instead of pulling my knee towards my chest, I'm going to extend my leg. So I'm going to push my foot away from my body, but maintaining that 90 degree position, knee bent to 90, knees level to your hip as you breathe in. Breathe out, zip it up. As I said, as you breathe out from your lower abs towards your navel and breathe out. Pressing it extension without really moving your leg extended. Keeping that 90 degree. Inhale. Exhale, press. And then gently lower your foot down to rest. And we have two more repetitions to go. And my recommendation is to do this as well as 10 repetitions. As you breathe in, breathe out, extend. Inhale. Expand your ribcage. Try not to lift your shoulders off your Towards your neck, keep it down, pressing down to the mat, all at the same time maintaining that neutral position. Inhale, exhale, extend. You're gonna feel a deep ache on your hip. Last deep breath in, exhale. So this is great for anyone with SI joint dysfunction or sacroiliac dysfunction when your sacrum is out of line and it happens to anyone with injury on their buttocks, falling on your butt or from giving birth, postpartum situation, complications, or even for men from cycling and biking situation with too much pressure on your SI joint or your tailbone as well. Okay, after doing that beautiful alignment with one side, now you can check your pelvic alignment by lifting your buttocks off the mat again. Inhale, exhale, zip it up before rolling down one vertebrae at a time. And now you can check your left and right and then check if they're together and they're more aligned now. And after doing that, now we can do some exercises further by doing a gentle compression. So you can glue them further together by placing the foam roller between your knees and you're going to squeeze them tight as much as you can. So this helps activate your hip adductors, your hip groin muscles. As you breathe in, expand and exhale, zip it up and squeeze the foam roller and you might find a lot of shakiness inside so you're gluing them together with your pelvic alignment more stable as you breathe in breathe out squeeze again last one inhale and exhale squeeze it feels so good on your Keep going area. My recommendation is do this 10 repetitions as well. Now, after that beautiful squeezing, now it's time to hip abduction isometric. So with your knees bent to 90 degrees, if you can't tolerate this yet with your feet up, you can keep your foot down with your heels up and you're going to try to reach this outside of your knee and gently press against it with isometric as well as slowly press out and hold it position. Or you can keep it table table top 90 degrees, place your hands outside of your knees. Inhale, exhale, press your knees out holding that position without movement and breathe out and zip it up inhale exhale press it's a lot of not a lot of mobility or movement yet we're trying to improve stability first before we stretch last deep breath in and exhale press 
well done so after doing that beautiful gluing and realignment with movement pattern of course with repetitions this will get better it doesn't just adjust in one session with repetitions which means consistency because once you get up from the floor start walking because of that misalignment from muscle weakness it could start re going back to where it used to be so it takes time repetitions like any workout regimen it takes time to build muscle strength so after doing that now we can do a beautiful butterfly stretch opening your knees out to the side and feel that gentle 45 degree angle not all the way down to the floor as you breathe in breathe out and then slowly go back center inhale expand your rib cage exhale open and then zip it up last set breathe in and then breathe out one more time my friends breathe in and breathe out feels so good on your hips just gentle movement and now with this knee slightly bent to 45 degrees and we're gonna lift this up in the frog position placing your hands at the side of your hips as you breathe in breathe out lift your hips up to a frog pose lift and that will help engage your deep hip external rotators inhale expand your rib cage exhale roll down inhale and then exhale lift two more inhale exhale down last one my friends breathe breathe out lift inhale exhale down so that will help if you have one-sided weakness to realign and once you engage those deep muscles now we can relearn our upper back thoracic spine mobility we're gonna sit on the foam roller so this is 36 inches length I'm only five feet one and then slowly roll down so my head is touching the foam roller all the way down to my buttocks and this helps engage opening your shoulders expanding now you can take deeper breaths and more expansion on your rib cage lifting your hands up pointing to the heavens so now you're going to utilize your feet to keep your balance as you breathe in breathe out open to the side feel that beautiful stretch on your chest really pressing your elbows down to the mat inhale lift hands to the center as you exhale open your palms out lower it to the side and breathe out two more breathe in i'm really pressing my shoulders down depressing it down to really stretch my neck and upper back as well breathe in feels so good exhale down last one my friends breathe in and breathe out down now we're going to do some beautiful snow angels so we're going to glide your hands down towards your hips as you breathe in palms up pointing to the heavens exhale slowly lift your hands up to the side until you reach overhead to stretch and breathe out inhale again as you reach up overhead exhale lowering your hands again to the side reaching down towards your hip and breathe out two more to go breathe in breathe out last set my friends inhale exhale and after that beautiful snow angels now we're going to do w position so w position is bending your elbows with the palms of your hands near your face so it looks like a letter w position as you breathe in pressing your elbows and your hands down to the mat exhale lifting your hands and elbows back to the center if you can touch your elbows and hands together feel a deeper stretch on your rhomboids on your scapular muscles as you breathe out inhale lower your hands out to the side open your rib cage on the front on your chest muscles pressing down as much as you can to reach down to the mat 
Exhale, back center, elbows and hands together in a prayer position, but this time with your elbows touching as well. Last set, inhale. Open, lower your hands down to the side, and then exhale, back center. Well done. So that's a beautiful mobility flow you can do to your upper back and thoracic spine. And this is for those with a little bit more mobility. For those who could challenge themselves, you can join me. Placing the foam roller on not your lumbar spine, but on your thoracic spine, which is on your rib cage. So it's not in the lower part. And then we're going to do some extension as you lower your head down, lifting your hips up. And then lifting your hands overhead until you can reach your hands overhead. Chin lifting your chin to stretch your deep neck flexors as you breathe in to expand your rib cage and then exhale chin tuck lift your hands up engage your core and roll the foam roller all the way to your thoracic spine only between l1 and t12 level not to your lumbar which is the lower part near your buttocks breathe in and then breathe out overhead again Hands touching overhead, chin lifted up, stretch your neck flexors, and then you take a deep breath again from this position, and exhale, chin tuck. Last one, my friends, inhale, exhale, lift, overhead, and exhale, roll down, and that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed this gentle deep core activation pelvic alignment for those with lateral pelvic tilt with one-sided weakness that we've been discussing in my other previous videos. And if you have time today, I have my Quadratus Lumborum video if you're new to my channel. And I also have a lot of follow-along videos that you can try. If you're interested to be guided by me, click down below, write your name and email address, and be part of the early bird weeklies as I reopen my back masterclass on April 27, 2024. I'm excited to meet my new students to guide you to reach your goals and have the solutions to find the root of your problem. So once you find the root of the problem, you know how to fix your back pain, the core and full posture. If you have more time today, check out my Quadratus Lumborum video over here. And also I have my absolute beginner program you can check out over here. Watch episode one of my core back immersion about my back masterclass. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well and healthy you. Bye.